This old virus is gonna put me in the poorhouse. What's happening, everybody? I'm Steve, and welcome back to Junk Drummer TV, where I give my initial reactions, my hot takes, and my analysis on the drummers of today and yesterday, and maybe tomorrow if I stick around that long. I am a professional drum teacher and a gigging musician, and I have been those things for the last 20 plus years, and it seems like we're living in a sad country song. But that's not what we're doing today. We're going to be watching a drummer that I had never heard of until commenters started mentioning him. Then after I saw his name and the band that he played with, I was watching some Anthony Fantana, shout out to the internet's busiest music nerd, and apparently he is the world's biggest Death Grips fan and stan. So I'm very excited about this episode. I just did Dave Grohl, which is like breathing air for me. I don't know anything about this band. I don't know what they sound like. I think that they're a hip-hop band. I don't know anything about Zach Hill, so let's just get rid of the preamble and let's get right into it. Before we do, please give me a like, comment, and share. Please give me a double tap on the subscription and the notification bell. Please hit up my Patreon, uh, PayPal option if you're into that kind of thing. And let's get into Zach Hill from the Death Grips playing guillotine. Okay, that's not the band right there. Yeah, this is 100% the first time I've ever seen anything of this band. Even the drummers that I've done on this channel that I didn't know what they sounded like, I'd at least heard of them before. That is a dope fucked up symbol. Okay. Let's play some like like travel kit. Like he has one tom and a snare drum. Fuck yeah. What am I listening to? <laughs> what? <laughs> I fucking love this lead singer. I believe everything that he's saying. I believe him. <laughs> Fuck yeah, what am I watching and listening to? <sighs> That's like... I don't know. That's like if Questlove... Like, listen to The Who, you know, with Keith Moon in there, and like, liked Sonic Youth a lot. I don't know what is going on right now, but I'm digging the shit out of it. It seems to be like like a noise rock, like a downtown New York noise rock, like no wave band playing hip hop, and this drummer is laying is going in between laying down this real aggressive, like like on top of the beat, rage against the machine type groove. And then putting these really atypical drum fills out of nowhere, like like you'd think like Keith Moon, but it's not that either. <laughs> Hold on for a second, I need something. Okay. <laughs> Just like when you think that he's just playing off of his head, he, he emphasized those hits with the vocalist right there. He's playing a part, but it doesn't seem like he is. 
It's just It's just like everybody on stage is just vomiting from their soul. Only way I can put what I'm watching right now. You can't take your eyes off this fucking front man. Is this a downtown New York band? It's gotta be. It's playing garbage instruments too. Like that's a V8 Pro symbol. We don't give a shit. The other symbol looked like it got ran over by a bulldozer. Tech needs to fix that symbol. These drum feels like it's so. It's. It's solid, but it's avant garde at the same time. Okay, Anthony Fantano, I get it. I've watched a bunch of your Let's Argue videos, and this band gets mentioned constantly. His right foot is like John Bonham. Because I don't think he's playing with a double bass. Get that, get that, get that, get that. That's hard to do. This guy's just unleashing drum energy and overwhelming the listener. Love this band, man. In a world where soul gets destroyed by commerciality, and I don't know if that's a word. This band, man, I would want to know what it feels like to be on that stage in that band. Fuck, I don't need these. That's. Uh, that's one of, that's one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time and I can't even begin to analyze the approach that that drummer was taking. It seemed a lot of times like he was playing on on the on the edge of his seat but everything made sense in the middle of this avant-garde out of this like out of this world alien hip hop noise band fuck man that was cool that was that was cool thank all of you commenters who suggested that i love being surprised and i love feeling like that i haven't felt like this watching something in a while that was fucking mind boggling I'll go drive eight hours to go see that band, and I've seen one song, and that's the way you make an impression. I hope that is a good indication of what that band sounds like. <sighs> I am exhausted, and that's the way I like music played. That music sounds like everyone on the fucking bandstand is one brain aneurysm away from dying from all of the power and soul that they're putting into the music that they're doing. I know I'm ranting, but whew, that was fucking amazing. That band rules. Zach Hill, the motherfucking Death Grips. I'm a fan on one song, and there's been very few times in my life where that's happened. I really hope this band doesn't let me down when I go explore more. Whew. <sighs> okay, so there is your traditional reaction video. Uh, if y'all enjoyed all that, please give me a like, comment, and share. Give me a double tap on the subscription and the notification bell. Everyone, please stay safe and please stay happy. Uh, I'm going to go listen to this band for the next 24 hours. Keep practicing until it's easy.